What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th Node.js tutorial in which we'll be starting off with the file system API provided by Node. So this file system API, what it actually does is it would allow you to have access to a bunch of methods and functions to edit, read or modify your files on the server. So with the traditional JavaScript, we didn't have this functionality because just reading or writing to the file system possessed a great security vulnerability to all of the systems on the internet. So that's not allowed in the browser side JavaScript, but on the server side node it is. So we'll be mainly covering how to read files in this tutorial so to do that let's first of all just create a folder and I'm just gonna say this as files and I guess it's the wrong title tree here you go files and a new file and you can name it anything without even extension it would just work fine so first of all you need to import a custom module known as FS so just throw that in require FS and since this is a system module a core module there's no a dot slash here so now FS has our module and now what I'm gonna say is that fs.read file and this would be our path this would be our encoding and this would be our callback so let's just populate each of them so what I'm gonna do is that this is the path so this would be files slash file then this would be utf8 and this is the callback function with error and data as the parameters I'm just going to console log some data and then what I'm gonna finally do is I'm just gonna say console log um, executed before file reading and executed after file reading and probably so why I wrote probably here is that this function right here the read file is asynchronous function so what is asynchronous function well this asynchronous function would not block the execution of JavaScript which is under this code so as you know that computers execute statement one by one so it would first of all come to this line then this line then this line then this line this line and so on so in JavaScript what you can do is that if this block of code is taking some time to execute you have the option to make the control skip to this line as well and not kind of skip but this code is executing as well but this code executes with it as well so if you just consider the line by line execution method then you should say that the data would be console logged first and then this line but let's just see what happens so inside our file I'm just gonna say this is a really simple file with some new lines and that's pretty much it so let's just go ahead and I'll run that in the terminal so I'm just gonna say node JS or just the node script 10 JS all right so now you can see that we got this executed before file reading from here executed after file reading probably well not true so it got executed before file reading only and this is because this is an asynchronous function so it did not just block the JavaScript under it it kind of just made that executable so when this code is when this code is completely 
you know this file is completely loaded in the system then this function is fired so this function is fired with an error and data and just console log data so this is our file right here now what happens if I remove this encoding <coughs> so when I remove this encoding this happens so it returns me a buffer well I don't know what the heck is that so I probably suggest you guys to make use of the encoding always so UTF-8 is probably if you just code in English language and by that I mean that you just write in English then UTF-8 would be good for you I guess for some other languages there are some other language codes so I guess you should probably google that if you are just writing in some other languages or you have some other code other keyboard sorry so yeah so okay so what we can do to make this code synchronous now in a lot of cases you would not like to make your code synchronous because that kind of slows your web page or that kind of let's just say if this call is somehow struck in an infinite loop then all of your code would be struck and would be never executed so if you still want to do that then here's how you do so there's a function known as read file synchronous <coughs> all right so this function what it does is it would just would not accept this thing right here it would just return this data this function would return some data and we'll just store that in this data variable so let's just console log the data now and it should probably show us that so as you can see now it says me executed before file reading this is a really simple file with some new lines and executed after file reading probably yes so that's true now and again if I get rid of this let's just see what happens as you can see we got some thing which is kind of mess so just again make use of this UTF-8 and that's how you basically read and write files or sorry just read files with Node.js and in the next tutorial I'll be probably showing you how to write files with Node.js and do some interesting stuff so we'll be making use of all of these APIs in our project which we'll be creating very soon after we have done with the basics of Node.js so that's all for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching